Hey, I am so excited to be here with you. We are going to talk about the after party, what to do, why it's important, all of that great stuff um, after you have had a paint party. So a lot of times people think the party's over, my job is done. That is further from the truth, okay? So you saw on day two, shopping for the paint party. Day um, two, we also packed for the paint party. Now on day three, we taught the paint party, which if you saw that, that is, um, hopefully you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you did. And then um, now, what I do after. So usually what I do is as soon as the event is over, I go home. Even if it's 11 o'clock at night, I know that's crazy, but I sit in my bed or on, a, on the couch, whatever, and I go through photos and then I start to mark which ones are the best. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I saved it for today so you could actually watch me do this in real time. Okay. And this is again to help keep your paint party business going. All right. I'm going to take a drink. Deep breath. What are y'all drinking this morning? I got me Chuck Norris. You know, just makes me feel like I can take on anything. <laughs> All right, so let me know in the comments what you're having to drink. And then if you're having coffee, I already have one cup of coffee. I do feel like I need another because it was a late night last night. Okay, so if you see my phone here, we took tons and tons and tons of photos last night. So I always recommend overtaking your photos. And I know it seems crazy, but here's the deal. You're gonna see in a minute, we are only going to post a few of these. The reason why we take a bunch is because you want to be known as the go-to person for paint parties. And when you take really great photos, and if you noticed last night I had my ring light with me, when you take really great photos with great lighting, what happens is people will see this. They will want to be a part of it. If you're posting bad photos, people's eyes are closed, they're not happy, <laughs> are people going to want to book for you? No, okay? So, and how many of you noticed the um, lookbook last night? I don't know if you could tell in the video. I brought two lookbooks, which was a mistake. I should have brought way more. But both the people that took a lookbook were like, I'm going to contact you. We have a women's ministry. We have this. We have that. They were very, very, very excited. So another person, I put my number on just a piece of paper and put it in her purse. But if I would have had a lookbook for everybody, that's, again, another way. That's just business that we're able to get. Okay, so what I do is I just go through. So here's my process. Let me know if you'd like to know the process. Okay, do a number one in the comments if you're wanting to know the process. All right, I'm gonna see if anybody on here wants to know the process. Let me see if I can find my, my own live. Oh good, there's the comments. Okay, good, one, 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 one. Okay, awesome. Good morning, by the way. So happy to see you. Okay, so what we do is I sit on my bed, sit on the couch, whatever, and I go through and I pick the best ones. Okay, then the ones that I like, I want variety. All right, so I'm looking for about 10, 15 pictures and some variety. What I mean by variety is I don't want every single photo to just be them holding the painting. I want action shots. I want fun. I want excitement. You know, I want the, the experience of the person looking at the social media to be like, man, I cannot miss one of her parties. That looks so much fun, okay? So we want to capture what we had in real life in those few seconds. And again, we are doing a thank you post. You may think this has nothing to do with marketing. It has everything to do with marketing, okay? So I go through and I heart some of my pictures. I always do like a group pick. So make sure you have at least one group picture. Okay, so I heart that. Let me show you a few others. This was so cool. So one of the ladies there, she has a face chat with um, a FaceTime chat with her three or her two sisters. So there's three sisters all together. She was so excited about this. She had FaceTimed them during the party 
And then she was so excited, she wanted a picture with her and her sisters and her painting. Isn't that so fun? I thought that was the coolest thing. So that's an interesting photo. So I hearted that, okay? So what I did was I went through step one is heart all of the ones that look interesting, fun, like you wanna be there, right? Then step two is to, because I've hearted them, now I can go to my album and now I've gone from 150 pictures to just a handful, all right? Just a handful. Now what I'm gonna do is go to my Facebook page. Let me see how you are doing here. Oh, Tammy, good morning from Arizona. Nice. Let's see, okay, who is ready for step two? Put a number two in the comments if you're ready to see step two. Okay, so the next step is gonna be going to my social media. So here's my personal page. Now, right off the bat, you may be thinking, well, why would I post that to my personal page? You post to your personal, your business page, and if you have Instagram, post to there as well. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna post and then why this is important, okay? So just like a post, everybody knows how to do a post, you just go to your social media. And then instead of me typing it, I'm just going to hit the little talk button right here in the bottom corner and then I'm gonna speak it, okay? So watch this magic. Let's see if I can. Thank you everyone for coming to paint last night! Exclamation point. It was so much fun and your cows turned out awesome, period. I can't wait to paint with you again at the space in Cleburne, period. Okay. Oh, now it said okay, oopsie. Now it said oh. <laughs> Let me back that up, back that up. Okay, so now I just did that in just a few seconds. Now I can add emojis to just make it more fun and interesting. So I'm gonna add at the very front, I'm gonna do fun night, all in caps. And let me show you what it looks like with a couple of emojis, just to get attention, okay? You can tag like the space in Cleburne. I can tag her if I want. Sometimes I find, and again, social media changes all the time. Sometimes I find if I tag somebody, it lowers my reach. So again, that happens sometimes and then sometimes Facebook changes the, the game. So it just totally depends. So now I'm gonna copy this so I don't have to keep pasting it. So I've copied it and then now I'm gonna add photos. So guess what photos I'm gonna be adding? Let me know in the comments. Who knows, what photos am I gonna be adding? Drum roll. Favorites, I'm gonna to go to the favorites. So on my phone, it takes a minute for the camera roll to change the favorites. So I'm gonna to have to take just a second. We'll just have to look at each other and how's your day? How's your day? My day's good, thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, and now I can hit favorites. And then now I can choose some of the ones here. Now, here's another tip. Again, all of these posts are very, very important. I don't wanna to forget to tell you about your online resume. Don't let me forget. If I don't say online resume in the next five minutes, make sure you type online resume. Okay, so the next little tip is you want to pick pictures that are going to grab attention right away. Those need to be your front pictures, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm, you know, we have some pretty good backgrounds here and that's why I brought the ring light so this would really pop. So I'm gonna start just grabbing some of the pictures that I know look really cute, okay? All right, so those are gonna be kind of my top ones. Those are gonna be the ones that people see when they're scrolling through. Now I can just grab a few more. I'm just gonna pick, and I don't wanna post 40 pictures, right? I think Facebook doesn't appreciate that either when you post so many. So I would probably do anywhere, and again, this can change. So as of this time, I've been playing around with doing like anywhere from 
six to 15 at the most. Um, unless it's like, you know, something I just really want to show. I've been doing a little bit less, less pictures, less is more. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to hit done and I'm going to show you what the post looks like. So see how it's that plus four pictures right there? So it's not a ton of pictures. Now, for those of you wondering why we are posting to our personal page, remember, it is your online resume. Whether you like it or not, if you are you know, in Paint Party headquarters, which I'll talk about here in just a minute because the doors are wide open and I'm so excited to welcome, you know, a lot of you have already joined and I'm so excited you're a part of it. But when you start sending the magic script, which works like magic, we have scripts that help you book your parties. When you start sending those magic scripts, what happens is people go and look at, guess what? Your personal page. So it's important to remember to keep your personal page. It can be your you know, post or whatever, but in today's time, that's your online resume. So you wanna be careful with that. You wanna make sure that it's good. So after I get that on there, then what I do is I just take it, and usually, like I said, I'm doing this at 11 o'clock at night, but for today, so I just kinda do a quick scroll. Oh, look at Pixie. Make sure I don't have any like major duplicates. And then if I'm happy with it, I hit done. I make sure I have everybody that was at the party there. And then I hit next and I post, okay? So now that's posting to my personal page because now when somebody, it says you can create a reel. I'm not gonna do that right now. So when somebody's looking for a paint party person and they stumble upon my stuff or I've sent them the magic script, which we have available in Paint Party Headquarters. They can easily see that I am the Paint Party person, right? So if you just kind of scroll through my stuff, you'll see, oh, there was a setup picture. There's me face painting at the church. There's one of my paint parties at Junk Gypsy. There's me and Bobby. This is a paint party, but does it look like a paint party? No, because I had these cute sheep and I wanted pictures of them. But if you click on it and you start to scroll, you'll see these cute pictures of me and the sheep and Bobby and the sheep. And then the environment of the paint party. That's where we taught. Isn't that cool? So it's a way to show people you're teaching paint parties and let them always know that you are the go-to person. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my Texas Art and Soul page. So now I'm switching to my business page and I'm gonna click and just paste. Everything we already did, I'm gonna make it white background and then I'm gonna add photos. And guess what photos I'm gonna add, not that one. If you know, put it in the comments. My favorites! And then I'm gonna click again, a few more of those favorites, okay? So let's pick some, some fun, exciting ones that just kinda stand out. Again, we wanna make sure we have at least one group. Okay, and some interesting ones. All right, there we go. And then I hit next and post. So now it's on my Texas Art and Soul page. So once I've done the work of picking the favorites, once I've done that work of picking the favorites, it's really quick to get it posted where it needs to go. You just have to have some good pictures. You don't want every picture of everybody so serious, right? Like. The paint party, half the, the fun of it is the relaxation of it. But if every time you post, they just look like, you know, they might come across angry. You don't want that. Then what I do is I go to my Instagram. All right. So if you have Instagram, you can follow me at Texas Art and Soul underscore. And then I just add an Instagram. I can't add as many photos. So I'll just go in. And I'll go again to my favorites. 
And I'm going to pick one of the ones that has the, the really cool background because that pops, right? That one pops. And with Instagram, that's going to be the first one. So then with Instagram, I just do the little extra little things there. That way I can pick more than one picture. So you can usually only pick 10 at the time of this filming. So I'm going to go ahead and pick about maybe four or five. It doesn't have to be a ton. Okay, I'll show you in just a second. Okay. All right, so now I'm scrolling through just double checking what I put on there. And guess what text I'm going to pick. Can anybody guess? I'm just going to paste again. <laughs> Bam. Again, it's done for me. Because I already did it once. I just repeat it over and over and over again. All right. And then on this one, Instagram now allows you to add music if you want, which is kind of fun. So, so I'm just going to add a little music because I think it's starting to like allow people to. Oh, there's my niece. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so it's posting. Posting. While we're looking at my niece, Kristen. There it is. All right, so now we can scroll through. Oh, that's a story. Hold on. Sorry. My bad. We can scroll through. And there we go. So now we have posted to all our socials. The reason I wanted to share that with you is because you have to make sure you take time for that. How many of you that have done a paint party before, you are so tired by the time your paint party's done that all you want to do is go home and just, you know, sit on the couch or just go straight to bed. I get that. However, how many of you love the idea of making several hundred dollars in a few hours? Or even, you know, I just saw somebody in our paint party headquarters group had a party of 30 and then she already sold out another party of 30. Alexa, what's 30 times 35? That's $1,050. That's a lot of money. So if I got to go home, so I kind of put my brain in the mindset of my job's not done yet. My day's not done yet. And when I do it that way, I don't end up forgetting. I don't end up, you know, the next day gets busy. I forget to post. I forget to do thank yous, all of that stuff. Instead, I just go, hey, my day isn't over until I've done my posting. In the past, you know, I've had times where I'll be like, okay, I'll just do it the next day or I'll do it a few days after. But then life gets busy or, you know, something really crazy happens or, you know, God forbid a, a tragedy or something happens and then you just forget to do that. And, and the thing about this is I really want you to make sure you're posting. I want you to make sure you've done all this work. I mean, all week we've been doing all these different steps. Like this is just that next step. Like don't forget that. That's a part of the party. Just put your feet up and um, grab a drink. If you're a person like me, I sometimes will grab a you know glass of wine and then I'm like, okay, Bobby, I'm going to do my socials. And he knows it's going to take me 30 minutes or so. Um, but it's worth it. Again, that's going to get more parties coming to you. All right. So um, yeah. So make sure it's your it's your online resume. If everything on your your personal page, and I've had so many people fight me on this, but you can love me or hate me for what I'm about to say. But your personal page is your personal page, but it's also a resume, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> so I just always say, like, just be aware of that. Be aware of that. If you are running a business and you're you know, wanting to get more customers, people need to see that you're a real person. Another little tip, I have so many tips, I get so excited. When you have great pictures of people, they not only are anxious to see the post, but they also wanna share it. 
if they look good in that picture and you have a ring light there and they look beautiful in that picture, I guarantee you they're gonna save that picture, they're gonna repost it for their page. So again, it's so, so important that you do that. And then also, for those of you inside Paint Party Headquarters, bring your lookbooks, okay? Bring your lookbooks because these sell your parties themselves by people being able to grab these. And again, we have these available inside Paint Party Headquarters, but they can see paintings that you have available for each season and they grab them and they go. All right, so it's really, really cool because then they can, and you can, you know, for all of y'all in Paint Party Headquarters, you can put your name and all of that stuff in here. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about Paint Party Headquarters, and then I'm going to tell you, if that's okay with you, just do a number one if you wanna hear a little bit more about Paint Party Headquarters. Just put a number one in the comments. And then also, tomorrow, we are going to have our kind of our celebratory. We've, we've gone through a lot this week together and I hope you've learned a lot. So we're gonna be talking a lot about, um, about what we did. I'm gonna be answering your questions. I'll probably have a glass of wine to be honest and I'll just sit here and answer your questions until my face falls off. <laughs> and then I wanted to um, you know, kind of close the week up with any questions you had tomorrow night. Now, for all of you that are already a Paint Party Headquarters member, just put PPHQ and um, you know, you're a member, just put hashtag PPHQ and I know you're already a member. For those of you that are like, I don't know what this is, but I'm so excited. I am so excited to share it with you. Paint Party Headquarters, we have been around and next month will be six years. I cannot believe it. I, I cannot believe we have already been here for six years, um, but I, I basically have everything and my team is a huge, huge part of this. We have hundreds of designs and marketing materials and everything you need for your paint party business. So the coolest part about Paint Party Headquarters is we have over 3,000 members, which is insane. And all I can say is that is God's work because I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> but we have over 3,000 members and we teach people all over the world, including Scotland, UK, Paris, everyone. We have people all over and we teach them um, all the different tips, all the different um, things that we do. And then we also provide resources. So we have hundreds of paintings as well as marketing materials, trainings, everything that you could possibly need for a paint party business. That's why it's called Paint Party Headquarters. So we're closing the doors to the public. So you have until then to make a decision. And if you wanna be a part of it, it's 47 a month and you get unlimited access to all of my designs to use for your paint party business. And if you want more information, you can grab the link. And then also, if you are watching this and you have been like excited, I know like sometimes in life we need a goal to go towards. I think that's why people run a 5K. I think that's why sometimes people do certain things, but we need goals to go towards. So if you're like, man, I watched Heidi last night. That was so exciting. I wanna do this. And um, give yourself the time to make things happen. So I recommend if you do the one year, you get three months free. So I'm very, very excited to offer that where you get three months free for paying for the one year. And that means you are committing to a year, you're committing to yourself so that you can give yourself time to make it happen. Um, how many times do we see somebody on Facebook or Instagram? And we immediately think like, oh, they just made that happen. They just did that. Like, I can promise you, if you see anyone with paint party posts or something like that, there is stuff in the background that they have been doing. And if you weren't sure before, you should be now, that all week you've been watching me do stuff in the background all week to be prepared so that I could do that beautiful post that we just did and say thank you to those wonderful ladies that came and painted with me. So there's always stuff in the background and I want you to kind of like, you know, anytime I make a decision, I always think risk versus reward, okay? So like Sarah, who just had a party of 30 and also booked another party of 30 that's sold out, ready to go, that's $1,050. So if you think about the risk, $47 a month, or you can do the three months free versus 
You do a party of 30 people for over $1,000 and you get to use my designs. The marketing materials are ready to go. Everything makes you look professional. It's like, bam. Like, I remember when I first started this about 17 years ago. The reason I know is Pixie was just born. That was when I had done my first paint party. And it was around the time when all the painting with the twist, all of that was starting. And I so wish, oh my gosh, so wish I had somebody that was like, here are all the designs you need, all the marketing, like it's on a silver platter, just go. Because I was teaching full time, I was trying to come up with all the designs on my own, which as you know, as an artist or even a crafter, that it is hard to come up with designs on your own. That was one of the most challenging things ever because I would be working 40 plus hours a week, then having to frantically on the weekends come up with designs, come up with designs. And then if they didn't work out, somebody would be like, I really want a butterfly. And I'd work all weekend trying to get the perfect butterfly. And then they'd be like, well, I really wanted it in purple. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> like this was way before the, the technology we have today. And it took so much time and energy. And if I could have just paid somebody $47 a month, which by the way, you can totally write off as a business cost because it's marketing. It's all of your, all the things you need. If I could write off $47 a month and know that I have access to designs all the time. I have access to new stuff every month. I have access to trainings, six years of trainings all of that, then I would have done that in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. So I wanted to give you a chance to join and tomorrow you can ask any and all questions you want. Tomorrow night, I'm just going to be with a glass of wine and talking to you via Zoom face to face, answering your questions and I'm helping you as much as I can. And then um, for any of y'all that want to continue and be a part of Paint Party Headquarters, we're actually going on a cruise next January. We have over 400 of you signed up. We're gonna basically take over the ship and have some fun in the Bahamas together. I cannot wait for that. That's happening in January of 2025. And so I'm very, very excited about all the cool stuff we have planned for you. And, um, and again, I just wanna say thank you for trusting me. Thank you for trusting our team. And they are some of the best people in the world that I've ever met. And I'm so grateful for them. And I'm so, so grateful for you. So I cannot wait to see what you do with this. And then also be sure to like, you know, you've been taking notes all week, bring those questions. I want to answer them. I want to help you as much as possible. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.